Hi everybody, uh, welcome to the third episode of the Keywords Cast. And this week I have the pleasure of talking to Alexia Palacios, who is uh, one of the great team leads in our player support service line. Um, hi Alex. Hi James, thank you for having me. <laughs> so the way we normally start these conversations is really, um, first of all, for you to introduce yourself and, and tell us about your role at Keywords. Okay, yeah. Uh, so first, uh, well pronounced, Palacios is some kind of hard for some other people, so yeah, that's cool. Uh Well, yes, uh, I've been working for Keywords now uh, almost three years. I've been here, it's, it was, it's been a great journey. I am a team lead here at uh, Keywords Mexico. And uh, as a team lead, you have a lot of tasks. Uh, big tasks, small tasks, but it's always taking your time. Uh, you are the guidance to your team. You are leading and always inspiring them. That's one of the things that I really like about my role. Uh, you are always the first line of solving issues, uh, um, not precisely with players, but anything that's needed with the team, anything that a client needs, uh, that's the first one of the third things that you're doing. You're always providing uh, reports and the right information, again, to the client and to the agents. You're always divided onto those, those two points. And uh, it's really good having this uh, communication with them. And uh, um, you are always letting know the other part, what's going on with the project. So uh, you're always being divided as it is with the client, with the agents, providing information, giving trainings, uh, providing reports. I mean, you're always working all the time with everybody. So yeah, that's kind of my role. <laughs> I got you. And, and I mean, not everybody watching this comes from a customer support background, um, but I'd say probably everybody watching this has had some experience with customer support, probably more as the customer, because that's all of us have, right? Um, so, I mean, really, really back to basics. Can you describe what does a customer support agent in gaming do? What, what's their day-to-day -day job uh, look like? Oh, yeah, I really like the question. I, I, I was an agent at some point and I really enjoyed that part. Um, well, first of all, your day has to be always organized because you are always facing different type of issues all the time. So you're always looking for a solution for players. Uh, most of the situations are always well known, but sometimes uh, well, there's initial cases that you have to look further. So you are always asking for information to your team, your lead, uh, looking on different places. The information is always there, but you're always learning something new. So as an agent, you are always learning and always knowing something uh, from even from players. You can learn from them. Uh, it's not it's, it's not as stressful it's, it's just a beautiful job i really love it uh but you have to become an expert uh and uh that's why you have to always keep learning that's the things that i really like about the job that since you are always knowing something new day by day you have the chance to help the players as much as possible you always have a solution for them but yeah you always have to be organized and learn everything as much as possible to help them. It's a really, it's it's just lovely. I really enjoy being an agent a lot. I really, really like that. And but and now you're a team lead. So now, now your responsibility in the in in the structure of a project is to is to manage those um, those support agents and obviously provide them with what they need. Um, and one of the things that I'm really, I guess, in awe of with customer support teams and customer support agents in particular is because as a player I know that some of the games the modern games are huge they're humongous um, and and just imagining how you know storing all of that knowledge in 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 your mind in order to be able to quickly know what players are, are referring to and to help them is, is really impressive and I'm sure it's not all just stored in your mind there must be ways that you use to document things and to give your teams the information that they need 
Yes, yes. I mean, in the beginning, uh, it's sometimes hard, of what that you just said. It's a huge uh, amount of information sometimes, and it could be overwhelming at the beginning. So you have to be, again, given a, a good training to your agents to always willing to, to help them. And as an agent, I always invite them to um, ask as many questions as possible and being patient because that information is not always to being right away in your head. You sometimes have to read over and over and over and again. Uh, the really good thing about this job is that you could give you the time to do this because you want to uh, give a great service and to give a great support to the players. So giving a good training, it's the way they start. Uh, giving the proper information uh, with the world documentation, it's something important about the project. In, uh, everything needs to be organized. And uh, when you get used to that information, you know, uh, by playing the game, by answering questions, by reading uh, almost every single day, the information just pops into your, in your head right away. You know, you at some point you already know how to reply to players, so you don't have to be really worried about that. Just uh, things are going to get naturally in your head, right? And of course, always keep updating your information because there's always happening games, you know, updates and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, things are going to happen naturally. Uh, but being patient is something that I always recommend, for example, in that case. Patience as well. And I mean, there, there, you know, there must be times, as well. I mean, this, this must be one of the um, things that people ask a lot. And I mean, I manage a team of community managers, so we have a similar crossover here. But, you know, sometimes you have players that really challenge you as well on a personal level. You know, they can be particularly upset about an issue or, you know, can can raise an issue in a certain way. Um, so, so how do you support your your team? Through, through those kind of situations, maybe like difficult customer interactions? Mm, those were kind of tricky. Uh, again, when I was an agent, uh, those uh, sometimes took you longer. But uh, to solve a situation, you just have to go to the basics, to be honest. I mean, uh, yes, we have to be more careful when I, when I don't know, a player is a little bit uh, tough or maybe, I don't know, that happens something that they don't really enjoy in the game. Yes, those things happen. But uh, let's focus on the basics because I think it's more important. Uh, given like steps, uh, okay, so what's going on with the player? Do you have to locate the issue? What can I do to, to help the player? How can I solve it? what is the process and then help the player it's not that i don't say that you don't have to focus on the energy of the players but uh, it's totally normal that sometimes they get upset by something i mean all of us have been customers at some point and things happen right so focusing first of on what you can do with a player it's always the best part to start because when you're giving a solution to them they start realizing, oh, okay, so this agent is actually helping me. We're having a solution, maybe it's taking longer, but yes, focusing on that is much better. And uh, at, at some point you're going to give uh, maybe an uh, a, a special solution provided even by the client, but in the end it's going, it's going to always be the same. Uh, focusing on the basics and what can you do is always good. I, complete, I completely agree, by the way. I mean, we... Um... Some of my best moments, really, of being a community manager back back before this job was, um, you know, you have a player who's particularly angry, and they seem angry all the time, and then you actually stop and talk to them, and it's like they had a they had an issue that was unresolved six months ago, and since then it's just <laughs> been like, it, you know, it's and then and then it's like, okay, cool, let's let's go back and let's um, sorry, you know, let's 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 sort that out, and suddenly you see the switch, and suddenly you have the most like happy, enthusiastic player. Um, that's a good moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like going back, and yes, that's totally true. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so as I said, like you know, storing all of this knowledge about the games, I find is is um, incredibly impressive. And the other thing I find incredibly impressive about our uh, our player support teams is the way it must take such a high level of concentration to 
you know, because you have your, your queue in your, in your CRM and, and, and they work through the queue um, and answer all of these issues because it all happens at a very high volume as well, you know, answering a lot of support tickets all the time. Um, so I guess when you were a support agent and now that you're leading a team of support agents, I guess do you have any advice for really keeping that high level of concentration productivity? Hmm. Uh, to be honest, it's, it, it, it depends from the project. I had a chance to, to work uh, on different projects and uh, knowing what the client wants is one a really good thing to start. Uh, when I say concentration, sometimes I think like, uh, I don't know, lo-fi music and stuff like that. <laughs> but uh, no, mostly knowing what's your goal helps you a lot. And uh, again, when it comes about tickets, I, I, I mentioned this, uh, but having steps for you to work in a ticket helps you a lot because it gives you an order and uh, it just comes naturally to you. Okay, I already worked in this ticket. I already have the steps and I already solve it. Let's go to the next one. Or let's go to the next one. And why I'm mentioning different projects, sometimes, uh, I don't know, it, it can get assigned to you or maybe sometimes you have to go to the queue and check them. But when you already know what to do, okay, these tickets were assigned to me, so I just have to go to the queue, my queue and, and check them. Okay, tickets are not assigned to me, I just have, have to go to my queue, to this queue and to look for those tickets, right? Having those steps with you helps you a lot to go naturally through tickets. I mean, of course, we already, we have uh, things that could distract us, but when you get used to the way you work, it's easier for you. I mean, at least uh, for me, having steps, <laughs> because sometimes it could not be that organized, worked perfectly, to be honest. And the music as well, of course. Lo-fi hip-hop beats to study too. That's my go-to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so you mentioned about, um, I think, uh, when we were talking about the documentation and, and very much like we are, I guess we're in the business of, I mean, our, our, the players are the people that we support, but then also the people who make the games, they're our clients. So they're also the people that we work with. Um, and um, I guess we, we're always very focused on providing the best, like um, the, the best support and solutions to our clients. And I guess I would kind of flip this a little bit because I would ask you, do you have any advice for, for game developers or, or game publishers, or game makers, let's say, for how, for how they can actually help customer support agents give a better service to their players? Oh, uh, well, in my experience, the best thing for agents, well, as an agent, was having constant communication with that team. Um, sometimes uh, we have questions that might think that are silly but I don't think there are silly questions. I don't think that there is something that is just there and everybody knows it. So when the clients are open to answer those questions, uh, it's always good. I mean, as an agent, you don't want to the client do everything for you. That's not what you're looking for. But uh, to give an, an, an open communication, to have an open communication with them and kind of have feedback from them, works a lot for for us because we actually as agents wanted to to help players so what we are looking for is the best way to help players so i do always appreciate to have regular feedback from the client and also from my team lead but from the client and uh always uh to receive uh um not necessarily like a, a good answer, but to have a, an answer that also helps us solve issues, even in the future, you know. So yes, that's always that I recommend to to developers or publishers to give them their chance to have a, an open communication with the with the team, you know, mostly agents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every every conversation I have with these, and I have them with lots of very 
different people, people from marketing, people from art, people from game development, and they all talk about communication, how important communication is. If it's the most universal thing, I think um, we talk about this every week. If you want to work in this industry, there are so many people involved. If you um, if you can communicate effectively with lots of different people, then you're off to a very good start. Um, so I started this by saying most people watching this probably won't have um, worked in customer support, but they have some experience of it as a customer. And I probably you do too. And, and, and I'm curious, like, if you ever reach out, you know, you have a, a problem with a, a product or something and you reach out for customer support help, do you look at it differently now that you work in support? Do you kind of like, kind of secretly assess how they handle it? <laughs> uh, I mean, I do understand now how it works. It, it do works different. I mean, I I always had the opportunity to to work, uh, you know, uh, given service at at, at at some point. I I think that when I was like nineteen, I worked in a restaurant, and yes, so you get used to that. But but yeah, I mean, you you get a lot of things uh, differently now that I had the chance to work support. I mean, like it's not like you have all the secrets. <laughs> but you understand differently how it works and even change you as a customer, how do you deal with the, with agents and, and even not just for gaming products, for other services, you know, uh, even it helps you understand like, okay, so they're giving me those steps because there's like a protocol or maybe this is going to solve my issue uh, at some point, I don't know. So you actually understand a lot. I, I do appreciate having this job because when I don't know when somebody give me a troubleshoot for something, I will I go like, oh, okay, so these are the steps. So let's finish the steps and uh, see if actually help. So yeah, at, at least for me, it, I do appreciate that because I do understand a lot of things when it comes about the uh, support. Yes, totally. I think same for me. I've learned a lot in being part of the been part of the player support team so I, I definitely look at things differently too but I don't have the hands-on experience uh, that you have um, so last question I have have you today and this is this is the question same question I ask everybody every week actually is um, for you personally what is what's the, the part of your job that you really really cherish the most like what makes a really amazing day for you uh, I yes um one of the things that I enjoyed the most about this one was having the interaction with different people that show me and teach and taught me a lot. Um, I learned from everybody, James, from everybody. And uh, this helps me develop myself, not just at my job, also personally. I mean, realizing that I could learn from agents from my leads, from clients, from everybody, it's just amazing. Um, and uh, giving the chance to apply all the things that I learned to help other people to develop, it's also one of the greatest parts of my role. As a team lead, you have the chance to look uh, on a different side. You know, as an agent, you you see your teammates, you know, some have as equals and it's kind of different. You're learning, you have your team lead, stuff like that. But as a team lead, you are looking everybody from a different side and you start uh, uh, learning about like uh, strengths and uh, weaknesses and how to develop strengths and how to not focus on weaknesses and how to help them develop. It's also one of the biggest parts of, of, of the job that I now sorry, developing is, is, is just amazing. I, I really enjoy having these interactions with people, helping them develop and learning from them at the same time is one of the things that I really enjoy the most. And uh, having interactions with different people, like in keywords, it's just amazing. It, 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 it's a really a good job for me. I, I really enjoy it, being in here, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, um, so yeah, I mean, I can talk and talk about it, so no, <laughs> but yeah, feel free. But no, I can echo. I can echo many of the same things. I mean, that's one of the things I enjoy about doing these talks. Actually, is that we meet so many different people. And um, uh, thank you, thank you for sharing um, sharing your time and sharing your insights in this. Um, if anybody has any questions uh, about player support or about keywords, then feel free to leave, leave them in the comments sections, and we'll get back to you. Um, 
but yeah, Alexia, thanks again. Um, it's been a pleasure and um, I'll speak to you very soon. <laughs> Thank you, James. Bye.